Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm on this morning um, another little rant. I was knitting, these are the two pieces of um, the two fronts I'm doing for Angela's cardigan. And I got the second front finished last night. I went, oh great, I can start on the sleeve. And I know I would have got about probably a little way past the um, the rim and maybe a couple of inches of um, the sleeve done. Well, after I had finished knitting this, while I was knitting it, I think it was this piece, yes. While I was knitting it, no, oh, it's not that one, it's the other one. <laughs> while I was knitting it, I kept thinking the wool felt different. There was no join or anything um, in it, so I knew they hadn't joined any more. You know, sometimes you get a join in the, um, the middle of the ball where they've started adding to make the weight of the, um, the ball. But it just felt different. But in the, um, the half light, because um, I don't have my uh, main light on in the living room with a night time, it was getting dark. I just had my little, my standard lamp on here that's all I use well that shines down onto me so I can see perfectly um when that's shining um even with this this is not too the, the only colour I can knit, knit with in the night time is black probably brown as well I've never knitted with brown very much anyway but um I can knit okay I can see this colour okay because you know your eyesight gets dim as you get older but anyway I was knitting I thought it's just my imagination and kept on knitting till I'd finished it and then I held it up and when I was looking across it looked like there was a line going across here and the rest of the knitting from there up to what I had finished just did not look right. It looked actually um, the holes of the knitting the stitch actually looked larger as though the needle was too big for the wool so I looked at it and then I got the the little ball, this is what I had been um, using. And I got another ball out of the bag. And I put them together. You can probably can't see on here. But this, this one here has a shiny look to it. It's not shiny, but uh, um, well, that's all I can, I can explain. And this one has a dull look. This is what the whole cardigan was knitted with and this one just didn't look right and then when I <coughs> I felt it and I was looking at the strand I thought that looks more like four ply than double knitting and that's what actually happened there was no join in it to explain it but the um the weaving of this must have changed on this ball and that's what was wrong with the um this why the stitch looked looser because it was like four ply knitted on a um, you know a four millimeter needle and that's how I had the line across because the line was where the wool had changed from um, the thickness gone to a thinner so anyway it's actually here this is a join there it's for us from this rosebud here that's where it had changed and I wished I'd done a little bit of a video before I pulled this out but I had to pull it out down to, to that rosebud and I got another ball out of the bag and I knitted it up and it's perfect the way it's supposed to be and that really annoyed me and I'm thinking good job I bought two packs of this because I knew for a fact that um, the size I'm doing, because um, Angela wants us to be to measure 46 inches, so I knew I wouldn't get, get it out of four balls. But I had already bought the wool before Angela asked me for it. So it was just as well, but I wouldn't have knitted it with four balls anyway, because I didn't know that there wouldn't have been enough. But it's just as well that I have got that extra um, pack, because see, I'm now short of this. And looking at it next to that and going through the going through as far as I can it all looks like it looks on there so something's happened when this wool's been been putting in we're being woven 
to put into the ball. Something's changed with the weave and it is more like, probably not quite as thin as four ply, but it's a lot thinner than this ball, which really annoys me. I'm going to have to keep that bit to do something else. I'll probably keep it by doing coasters or, or something like that with, but that really annoyed me because I had to pull that out. <clears throat> and I could have had part of the sleeve done if it hadn't been for that. And that was so no fault of my own, not any mistake I had made, but some mistake that the manufacturers had made with that um, wool. So I'll be very careful with the rest, any other wool. This is already so crafty. So I'm going to be very careful with any other wool that I use from there and really check that there's nothing else like that happened. Uh, but that annoyed me. But anyway, I won't get much knitting done tonight. I might get a little bit done today, but I'm going to my bingo tonight. And we are having a, um, a buffy. We don't do this every week, just every so often. All of us girls get together. We'll have a, um, you know, on that Facebook Messenger, we all have a, um, like a group, it's like a group thing, we call it bingo and we all talk to each other on, on there and we all tell each other what we're going to bring so everybody doesn't bring the same thing. <laughs> and I've been told I've got to make some of my cheese scones, which is what I usually um, bring. But uh, my friend who I usually go with, um, Anne, she can't make it this week because she's been in contact with somebody with COVID, so <laughs> that spoiled her entertainment. So I'm going to have a look at what she was going to bring and I might, I think she said um, sausage rolls or something like that. So I might do one or two sausage rolls as well. So I've got a little bit baking to do um, today and uh, I leave, you know, around about tea time uh, anyway. I'll be leaving about half past five for the, um, to get up to the um, the place where we go for, for all the girls meet up about six, for about six o'clock. And then we'll have our bingo and play your cards right and... I might be lucky this week again. I was lucky last week, but didn't win. Not not a lot. Not as much as what it cost us. But uh, it's more the fun of the um, the game. We'll have a um, a good laugh. I think we played a play a card right last last week, and there was that many. We went around it that many times. Just nobody could get it. We ended up. We had to um, to put the money in for a bingo game at the uh, the finish, and that's the kind of thing we'll have a good laugh. You know, like. Um, it's not just the um the bingo and the play card right and there's one or two comedians in the place who have a bit joke. There's one one fella in there and insists on calling me Sylvia. <laughs> and I tell him I argue with him every week, you know what my name is. And he still calls he says, I know what your name is, Sylvia. <laughs> so I have an argument with him every week, you know, because he won't call me by my proper name. <laughs> But he just does it to wind me up and I bite the cherry every time. So <laughs> always have a good laugh and that's it. So that's what I'll be doing after I've done a little bit baking. Get sorted what I've got to do. And if I've got any time, I'll probably sit down for a, um, a little while this afternoon, maybe before I go out and uh, do a, um, a little bit knitting. So I'm not going to bother doing myself any tea because there'll be plenty to eat at the at our um, bingo night so I don't need to cook any tea so I don't have to worry about that I can sit in the time it would would have took me to make my tea and eat my tea and um, I'll have a little bit more time to do a little bit knitting which is what I want to do I want to get Angela's cardigan finished and uh, sent off to her then I can get on with one or two of my own things you know the little boys cardigans that I'm going to do and there's a cardigan I started a long time ago for myself this one, I want to get a little bit more of this one done. This one here, this is Mariner's Yarn. It's the first time I've used the Mariner's Yarn and I want to see what it's like and what it washes like and whether I would buy any more. But the feel of it, it was really nice knitting with it. It feels nice and it looks nice. So I would pro probably buy more of this, but until I've actually finished knitting this and washing it to see how it washes and all that, um, I can't really see how good it is until I've done all that. So that's the one I want to finish as well, which I haven't had time. I can't even remember how long ago it was since I started this one. <laughs> but I'm going to 
going to have to get it finished so that's my little bit for today so if you want to see more and whatever else i get up to thumbs up and subscribe and i'll let you see that whatever i do so bye for now